Hello, hello. What's up, Gemini? What's going on, babies? It's tea time, babies. It's tea time. To my subscribers, welcome back, babies. To those of you who are new to my channel, hello, hello. I am Lee. I will be bringing you the tea, baby. I keep it real so I might get a little raw and reckless up in here. But my intentions is never to hurt your feelings. Spirit ancestors, angel guys, you are welcome into the room for a general Gemini read. Take what resonates with you, baby. What doesn't resonate with you, you leave it behind. Okay, babies, do not apply pressure. Don't be shy. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Hit all so that you can be notified. Starting with matters of the heart for our Geminis, we have let there be closeness between you. But always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Awesome. Going with the flow, baby. On the bottom of the deck, we have embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Okay, dokie. Okay, dokie. So you might be somebody's missing piece. Or they may be yours. Let's see, let's see. Let's see what's the vibe for our Geminis, spirit ancestors, angel guides, clear, concise messages for our Gemini. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? What messages, a little guidance for them to take along the way? Here we go. Can we get three? Hopeful. Ooh, hopeful, inspired, optimistic, success. Hopeful. Going with the flow, feeling hopeful. Oh, shit. Somebody's bitter, angry, and petty. Mmm. Salty. Somebody's salty, baby. Ooh, is it you? Is it them? Is it you? Is it them? You may be salty, baby. Because you may have been in your ego. Oh, shit. Okie dokie. You may have been moving from your ego, baby. Okay, you may be hopeful that the situation can change, but uh, if you're moving from your ego, baby, I don't know, um, it says um, egotistical, opportunist, fragile, and then we have masculine energy, baby, authority, discipline, father figure. So, someone, it feels like for some of you, you may have come off too strongly for someone. Um, you may actually be moving from ego. You may be a narcissist. They may be a narcissist. Because um, we have chaos on the bottom of the deck. Chaos, upheaval, disaster, and downfall. All right, Sarah, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. There's still hope, baby. <laughs> There's still hope. Uh, for some of you, you may need to move into your masculine energy. Uh, you may need to, con you know, not, not so much take control, control of a situation, but take control of yourself, okay? Your emotions, your actions, your words, how you going about things. Okay, for some of you, you may be trying to control a relationship or a situation. Uh, that's going to turn out badly, baby. Okay. Um, when we first started, it felt like going with the flow. Um, it feels like in order for something to turn out, for the better there's a need to keep going with the flow because if you try to manipulate the situation if you try to control the situation if you try to if you are narcissist okay and you do things just to benefit you in order like you manipulate people places and things in order to benefit you babe them tables will turn Let's see what we got in the Naughty Oracle for our Geminis. Can we get one? 
We got three. Fuck you. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's actually too many. Um, <laughs> it says, fuck you. Enlightenment sucks. Uh, yeah, it feels like for some of you, you are moving in your ego. Uh, you want things to go your way, but you may be coming to, to the realization that you cannot control people, places, and things. You cannot control the outcome of things. Um, move away from control is on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> we don't make this shit up, baby. It is what it is, baby. It is what it is. So... If you try to manipulate the situation, you are self-sabotaging, baby. <clears throat> if it is them trying to control you, they will self-sabotage, baby. Okay. Here we go. Let's see uh, what's in the challenging position for our Geminis. And your challenge is a fresh start. So you may be holding on too tightly to someone. You may be holding on tightly to something that happened from the past, okay? And it may, may just be time to let that shit go in order for you to have a fresh start. It says, you, you're being given the opportunity to begin again. Allow yourself to embrace this new life and open up fully to this gift that you have been given. Okay, uh, it's a baby, a baby hand holding a thumb. For some of you, uh, a new life may be coming into this world. It says, clear your energy, baby. Refuel your energy and reclaim your power. Um, that has father figure in it. This one has a baby. Uh, for some of you, you may be trying to hold on to someone because y'all have children. That shit is not going to work out. Sorry, don't kill the messenger. Okay, if they trying to control you or keep you because they have a child, that shit ain't gonna work. If you're trying to hold on to them, keep them using your child, that shit's not gonna work. Okay, here we go. We're moving on, moving on into the tarot for our Gemini. Gemini, please subscribe, baby. Please hit that like button. If you would like to send me a little comment? Talk to me nice. I read those. The Four of Cups is the first one out with the Knight of Swords. We got the Moon and we got the Hermit. So, not knowing what's gonna, what the future may bring. Okay, for some of you, you may have to step away from the situation in order to see clearly. Um, the Four of Cups, um, it may be time to whoosh, baby, okay? It may be time to whoosh. Take some time out for yourself, you know, spa day, a day out amongst animals, nature, away from people, baby, away from people. Um, it says, contemplation, feeling disconnected, melan melancholy, uh, boredom, indifference and discontent with a knight of swords that's coming right in which is maybe someone an offering of some type someone may be trying to tell you something someone may be trying to give you some advice and you may not be listening to that shit for some of you someone may be watching you on social media if they know where you live at if they know where you work at if they know where to find you they may just spin the block, baby, okay? You may end up seeing this person in a place that you normally would not see this person. It's because they are there for you. They know you was there or however the situation may be, okay? Here we go, here we go. Spirit, thank you. We have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. So, someone may be giving a lot of themselves. Someone may be giving generously. Someone may be spending recklessly. 
a masculine figure. Someone may be materialistic. Um, someone may be money hungry. Um, someone may want to be in your life. We have the seven of swords sideways and the sun sideways. Um, so this situation, you may not be sure about this situation. You may, um, feel like, um, this person or this situation is causing some type of an imbalance in your life. Bless you. Um, for some of you, you may have not, like, stepped up for yourself or, um, you may need to protect yourself or protect your, your, your finances. You may have to stand your ground, baby, okay? Standing your ground against someone who is maybe materialistic or someone who spends a lot on frivolous things. Um, this shit is not making you happy, but it's not, it's, it feels like you're unbothered though. Actually, it feels like you don't, whatever moves they make are not affecting you. Well, there's someone in your aura that the moves you make and what you're doing and how you're doing it doesn't affect them or how they feel. Okie dokie. So, so you, it feels like confusion, okay? It feels like confusion. It feels like not knowing where something is heading. It feels like um, being stuck with someone or in a situation or in a, or like um, stuck in making a decision, not knowing what decision to make, being hopeful. That it will grow, that it will expand, that it is going somewhere, but not being sure about it. Not knowing that this is going to turn out to be a burden. A situation, it may be a new situation, but you may be lingering on the past. You may be moving towards someone, still worrying about what someone else did to you. So not being so willing to give uh, more of yourself. Holding back parts of yourself. That's too many. Spirit ancestors, angel guides. Thank you. And the lovers. Yes. Not being able to make a decision in love because you're not sure if this is really what it is. But then we have the Hierophant, which is what it is. <laughs> Okay, and justice on the bottom, making something right. Okay, so for some of you, you may be contemplating or making something right with someone that you have feelings for that you were not showing your true colors, someone who you held back from. You tried to stand your guard, but that didn't make you happy. Or for some of you, someone made you feel like, nope, it's what I said. <laughs> it's what I said. Um, at some point or another, holding back, holding back, standing your ground, standing your ground because you may have believed that that whatever the situation is or was, was not going to make you happy. Being hopeful now that you can make the right decision with the Hierophant, okay, is maybe having found some type of or coming to a conclusion about person, place, or thing um, that needs to be made right with justice on the bottom. Okay, so the Hierophant, she's wise, baby, wise, traditional, social group, 
conventionality, conformity, education, knowledge, and beliefs. With the lovers, for some of you, you may be coming to the conclusion that you are ready for commitment. Because where you at right now, as it stands, is not making you happy with the sun sideways in the center of the reading. So you're not happy. Okay? You're not miserable. You're not miserable, but you're not happy. And there is someone that makes you happy or helps you to feel happy or shares your happiness or some shit like that. And we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay, so... For some of you, you may have had too much responsibilities and that may have been what caused the pullback. That may have been the block. Um, that may have been why you decided to stand your ground because you had too many responsibilities somewhere else. Uh, your loyalty may have lied somewhere else. For some of you, you may have been married in an unhappy marriage. You may currently be in an unhappy marriage. For some of you, you may currently be in an unhappy marriage that you need to stand your ground. You may need to defend yourself. You may need to um, that set things right may have been with yourself. Okay? Um, deciding Choosing to choosing your happiness, choosing what makes you happy, okay. Choosing what makes you happy, or deciding what makes you happy, deciding who and what makes you happy, so that you can send out a little message of love, okay. Letting somebody know that you feel down and out, okay. That whatever the situation may be or had been has left you. Um, overkill okay that you've been through this that the third ABC one two three and that you may have been afraid to move forward in a situation that actually did make you happy uh, it may be time for you to acknowledge that uh, for some of you if it's not you and it's dumb they may be deciding that and deciding to send you a little message So out here we see Leo, Gemini, Taurus. So far. Here we go. We're moving on into the light seers. Into the light seers we go for our Gemini spirit ancestors, angel guides. Gemini, don't forget to hit that like button, baby. Thank you. I appreciate the love and support you show to my channel. We've been growing slowly but surely. You know. And um, it's all due to you beautiful people out there. So we have a Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is being acknowledged, being noticed, okay? Uh, what's this? And the Four of Cups. Okay, so for some of you, you may... Somebody reminiscing over you too, okay? Or you may be... Res, res, Reminiscing over someone who is um, in the spotlight. Someone who is... Um, someone who is known. Someone who is um, maybe popular. Someone who got some shit going on for them. Okay? Or it can be you. Someone missing you. Someone missing how you used to show up for them. Okay? We got a Queen of Cups under the deck. Feminine Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have the Emperor. Emperor, Aries energy. The Emperor. So it looks like for some of you <laughs> that you're thinking about somebody, they're thinking about you. For some of you, it feels like you're in a relationship with somebody, but you're thinking about somebody else. Um, let's see, let's see. For some of you, it's just time to take control and make that move, baby. 
Okay, what goes around comes around. What goes around comes around, baby. Um, and we got hope. So there's hope. Uh, now the sun came out, so now I'm going to have polka dots everywhere. <laughs> We're just going to keep going, baby, okay? There's hope, but uh, what goes around comes around. So for some of you, you may be hopeful that you can fix something, something that ended, something that was done. Uh, for some of you, maybe with a Queen of Pentacles. Uh, Queen of Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, chilling in ass queen. For some of you, you may decide that you need some stability in your life and that you know exactly who can meet you at your level. For some of you, you may decide to make a move towards someone who is stable. Okay. We got the devil on top of the lovers. <laughs> and temperance. The love the devil on top of the lovers with temperance. For some of you, you may actually like be like obsessed over this person. Okay, um, you may be doing too fucking much. <laughs> For some of you, um, either someone's obsessed with you or you're obsessed with someone. Uh, for some of you, the fact that you feel the way you feel may have caused you to run. Uh, it may have scared the shit out of you. Um, for some of you, you may be realizing that you didn't go about something correctly. Um, you may have approached someone in, um, with not the right intentions, or they may have approached you with the wrong intentions. Uh, you may have felt like they was trying to control you, or you are trying to control the situation, or you were trying to control the situation, and that shit didn't work. For some of you, that's probably why we got that salty card, bitter, angry, petty, doing bitter, angry, petty things uh, may have led this, this situation to not go as planned. Okay, let's go, let's go. Can we get three more for our Geminis? Picking up on the energy of our Gemini. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? What messages do we have for Gemini? Oh, up in the head. Up in the head. Up in the head. The Ace of Wands, not seeing clearly. Up in the head, wanting a new beginning, wanting to put it on somebody, not knowing if this person is going to reject you. Someone may be wanting to reach out to you and not knowing how to go about it because they don't know whether you are emotionally available or not. Okay? Someone wants to come forward. It can be you. It can be them trying to move forward. Um, so, for some of you, you may want to reach out to someone. You may not know where this person is at mentally or even emotionally. Do they even care? Uh, it makes me feel like you both care. It makes me feel like um, there needs to be a, like a tweak in the way that people are trying to control situations. But it makes me feel like if you're just strong and show up as your truest self and um, be consistent in a matter, it may just go in the right direction so use your intuition baby follow your heart take your brain with you 
What you want, baby? Grandma got work. Oh Give me a minute. Shelves. Okay, so let's see what the lovers' oracles got for our Gemini's. Messages from the lovers' oracles for our Gemini. I try to move all over. It just is what it is. Here we go. Here we go. When I started, it was all dark and shadowy, and it rained a little, and the sun came back out. So we got the player, player from the Himalayas and divine intervention. Woo so for some of you that was. Dealing with the player, player. Yes, Luna. So for some of you that are the player, player, the divine will intervene. For those of you who are dealing with a player, player, the divine will intervene. <laughs> okay. The player, player says charming, manipulative, karmic, being tested. Divine intervention, serendipity, catalyst, supernatural, and karma. Okay, so for some of you that were dealing with a player, player, karma is on its way. Knock, knock, knock. Okay, the wheel of fortune. What goes around comes around. For some of you that played that game with someone who did not deserve it, karma will be spinning the block. Okay, and it may cause you to have an awakening as to the fact that you're unhappy and that there is someone that you pulled your energy away from that brings light into your life. And you may be missing that light. Okay? You may be missing that light. And it's time to drop the mask. Hidden motive, concealed, disguised, lying. Okay? It's dro time to drop the mask, baby. Especially after this divine inter intervention. Uh, someone is still single. Someone's alone, isolated, lonely, and guarded. And someone is, we have liquid courage, bravery, confidence, intoxicating our behavior. So for some of you, you may decide or you maybe go out to drink, whatever, and your true colors may come out, baby. Okay, they may come out. You may end up telling the truth about your finances because there was someone that was overspending, doing too fucking much. Um, there might be some truth about having a secret crush on somebody that you have pulled away from, which is the energy that is lingering very strongly, and that there's unfinished business. There may have been a third-party situation with someone who was a charmer, okay? Now leading to their crossroads, to having to make a decision, to follow in their intuition, Towards a romance, towards what they really feel. Romantic feelings. Healing and hooking back up. Okay, 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 okay. So, yes. It can be you, it can be down. Cross watchers. It can be you, it can be them. The point is that someone, okay, someone was a player player. Somebody was trying to... Uh, manipulate the situation someone was trying to control how they feel or how they showed up and karma is either spinning the motherfucking block or will be spinning the block okay baby so it may be time to make something right for some of you you may be coming into the realization that you owe someone an apology um, for some of you, you may be coming into the realization that you was happier when you was with or around someone. Um, and, uh, getting brave about it, baby, because we had strength and we had liquid courage. So, we have abundance, lightning, separation. So, there's a separation, baby. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. To be honest, I feel like it's on both sides. I feel like you may be missing someone, someone may be missing you too. Okay, we have abundance. Uh, keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. thing about manifestations is that you have to put action. Okay, you cannot just say this is what I want and expect the universe to deliver it to you. No, you need to act accordingly. You need to do what you got to do to start to align with the things that you want for you. Okay? And that means everything. That means the way you act, the way 
the way you act, the things you do, the things you say, the way you take and master your mind so that you don't do dumbass shit like self-sabotage. Yes, darling. Yes. You got to put in the work in order to manifest the things you want. It's not just telling the world, telling whatever, saying whatever, and feeling like you're entitled to just get that shit. No. You got to move accordingly. Love. Unconditional love. Self-love. Oneness. Passion, affection, and attraction. So, when you start showing up for yourself, baby, okay, then. Okay, then. Uh, when you start loving on yourself, it's when you come into the realization of who and what was good for you. Okay? Because self-sabotage has nothing to do with self-love. Okay? Um, running from something that felt good, that may have been good. Okay? And trying to control that situation to benefit you in whatever way that was. It's not the way to go. So, we have lightning. Um, when something happens, suddenly, it may change your mind about people, places, and things. And it may be time for you to make that shit right. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. We have transformation and then the butterfly. And the narcissist. The butterfly. Relationship evolving in the next phase. Healing the inner child and growth. So for some of you, when it's that shock, okay, that moment, that moment that makes you realize, okay, what you really feel or however the situation may be or how you was acting or how you was moving from ego or how this person causes you to feel bitter, angry, and petty, which may be that they trigger you somehow, okay? When people trigger you, it's normally because it's something that you need to handle within yourself, okay? It doesn't necessarily have to, to be the other person. It's something that you are not okay with, okay? We have girl with the snake. Empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used enable boundaries. Okay, so for some of you, you may have chosen a narcissist. The shit is about to hit the fan or is hitting the fan. And that realization may cause you to realize that there was someone else. There was someone that was genuine. Okay, um, there was someone that was... Your missing piece. Someone who made you help you feel complete somehow. Okay, and then we have the palm tree, baby. Stability, security, performance, growth, endurance, and flexibility. Uh, someone who was definitely stable, stable minded, stable financially, stable life, stable. Okay. So, let's see what may be coming up ahead in romance for our Geminis, Spirit Ancestors, Angel Guides. Can we get three? Playfulness, Retreat, and Attraction, Reconciliation. It feels like someone may be breaking up with the karmic. It can be you, it can be them. And deciding to that you are their missing piece or you may decide that you need to go find your missing piece. Someone you already know. Someone you already had intimacy. Um, it doesn't just have to be sexual. It could have been mental. It could have been um, someone that you share time with, that um, you laugh with, that you chill with, that you, I don't know, you ate with. Whatever, however the situation may be, somebody that made you feel good, okay? Playfulness, to recapture romance, allow your inner youth spirit of fun to shine. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world, but not alone. Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay, so you may just need some time for you and them, okay? To be able to create something uh, more solid 
to be able to um, make something right, okay, and to be able to reignite that spark. Someone from your past is returning to your life. <laughs> I said that, okay, you want to rewind, rewind, baby, but I said that. It's someone that you really can see a future with. Okay, someone that you can really see a future with. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. This situation involves marriage. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. But love yourself first, baby. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, lovely. So, there's going to be a wake-up call. What will you do? Where will you go? How will you handle it, baby? Okay? You can't always control people, places, and things. You can only control yourself. So, let's see what they may be thinking, what they may be feeling for our Gemini. From the Zodiac, starting with the water signs, starting with Pisces. Let's see, let's see, let's see. But Pisces, what they may be thinking, what they may be feeling. For Gemini, can we get one? I'm sorry. Cancer, for Gemini, can we get one? I don't really know you. Scorpio, for Gemini, can we get one? I am happy it's over. And you can't come with me. <laughs> Damn. Oh, Lord. They sound like they done. Um, water sign. Uh, air sign. Gemini. For Gemini. Gemini. For Gemini. You are not part of my plan. Libra. For Gemini. Can we get one? Libra. I am not coming back. Aquarius for Gemini. Can we get one? Aquarius. Aquarius. You can't come with me. Aquarius. Uh, Earth sign. Capricorn for Gemini. Capricorn. I am different now. I scared myself that day. Luna, Luna. Uh, Taurus for Gemini I don't know how to let you go Virgo for Gemini can we get one Virgo for Gemini can we get one you didn't imagine it I forgive you okay okay Sag for Gemini what they may be feeling, what they may be thinking. You are not right for each other. Oh, we, we are not right for each other. Sad. Leo for Gemini. Leo for Gemini. Can we get one? Leo, I lied to you. And Aries, can we get one? Thank you. Leaving you hurt me too. The overall energy, baby, on the bottom of the deck is, I know we have a soul connection. Okay, babies, those were your messages, what they may be feeling, what they may be thinking from the Zodiac. Okay, ask your question. Oh, wait, I want to give you some advice. Let's get you a little bit of advice for our Gemini. These cards... A lot of them have misprints, so I'll try to uh, correct it as I go. Here we go. Can we get three? Advice for Gemini. Can we get three? Can we get two more? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We got four. Get it all done, baby. Only a few more steps and you will accomplish. And you will accomplish. Once finished organizing your ideas and plans, immediately put them in practical work. So as soon as you figure it out, baby, be confident. Make more eye contact and spontaneous communication. 
Open your chest, baby. Say it from your chest, baby. Say it like you mean it, damn it. And take a deep breath to activate more self-confidence. You are simply amazing. See that? Have a sense of reality. Yeah, you may have been trying to control situations. I felt it. Accept things happening with an open heart. You can't change the past or delve too much into the future. But it's obvious. But it's obviously you can stay focused to turn your fate to a new page today at this moment. Yes, baby. Rearrange your tasks or plan and need getting a practical and chronological approach. Make it even a little more specifically divide. Uh, specifically, divide the big tasks into smaller steps to balance your work better. Whoop, whoop, whoop. 11, 11, baby, on the bottom of the deck. Those are my angel numbers, baby. I see them every day, every day. I've been seeing them every day for like three and a half years already. Uh, angels are watching and guiding you to bring out your highest self. Most importantly, keep up your good work and have faith. Have faith in yourself, baby. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Cinderella, you can do it. Here we go, babies. Let's ask your questions. I'll give you three answers. You can ask one question. You can ask two questions. You can ask three questions. It's up to you, baby. Let's do it. Answering questions for our Geminis, Angel Guides. Gemini, please subscribe if you haven't already. Please hit the notification bell. Hit all so that you can be notified. But when it's tea time, babies. For those of you that this reading is resonated with, please don't be shy. Hit the like button. If you would like to share, send a little comment. I appreciate you for it, baby. Here we go. Answering questions for our Geminis. Can we get three? A year from now, big happy changes. And let's get one more for Gemini. And meditation brings answers. Some alone time, baby. You may need some alone time to sit with yourself and figure it all out. Okay. It, uh, it does feel, it actually said that you were hopeful. That you were hopeful in a matter that can be set right. But you have to uh, put the work in. Okay, you have to put the work in. On the bottom of the deck, baby, it says unlikely. If you want something, baby, you got to go for it. You got to put the work in and you have to be honest with yourself and others. Okay, let's get you a fortune cookie to take along the way for our Gemini. Spirit ancestors, angel guides, clear, concise messages for Gemini. So, fortune cookie to take along the way. We got, can we get one more? We got three. Perseverance, baby. You may feel like you are getting nowhere, but there are wonderful changes ahead. Don't give up. Change. A change of residence, partner, career, or job is on the cards. You're restless and in need of a change, and that is exactly what is coming your way. And sexuality. Ooh. Existing relationships could find a new passion and, and heightened sexual attraction. Opportunities for marriage and good family. <laughs> like, uh, Opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong, but if single, be aware of temptation that could lead to trouble. A child will also bring great joy. Okay, remember we had a father, father figure, and we had the little baby with the hand, the fresh start. So for some of you, okay, it may be about to be on and popping, baby. Society, say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way. Excellent networking opportunities and a new love interest for singles will be the result. And that was your tea, baby. Smooches.